everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. This card is called a concertina card and you can see why, because it's all concertinaed and can close up. And because it's so small when you've finished it, it fits into a, a standard sized envelope. Okay. Now I've used a double sided card to make mine. But you can make yours from playing card if you wish and just decorate it up yourself. Okay, so let's get started on making the card. Now for my card I've taken a 12 inch square um, double sided card and what I've done is I've taken, I've divided it into two. The top part is the 12 inches by 7 and this is the piece that's left, okay? Now what you're going to do with this is you're going to score and fold it every two inches. And then if you crease it nice and sharply, you'll have your concertina part. And you're going to do exactly the same with the other piece, but you won't need this last fold. So you can remove that from your card. Next thing to do is to lay your card flat and from this first crease up to the last crease you're going to remove this centre panel. So what you need to do is see how wide this panel is and you're going to measure down from this top edge about an inch and the same from the bottom about an inch on both sides and remove the panel. I'm just going to make some little marks and I'm going to take that centre panel away. So the easiest way to do this is to fold it all up and just leave your two end pieces sticking out. Measure down and that's two inches and that's two inches and all I'm going to do is just take my craft knife and cut across. Now once I've done that, all that centre panel is loose, so I now need to just remove it completely from the card. should have left. The next part is to make the channels for the other piece to slide into. So again I'm just going to close the card up, keep the two end flaps away and lay it down. Now if you remember we cut this piece at seven inches so the piece that was left is five inches and this needs to be able to slot into channels on these centre pieces. So all I've done is made a mark on the card, or just go ahead and cut it. You're going to cut a one inch channel in the middle of these centre panels, okay? Not the end bits, the centre panels. So just make your channels. Make sure you cut through all the layers. And then you'll have the channels there in your card ready to be used. So open it out nice and carefully. Now the next part is to make sure that this will slot into your card. So where you have mounting folds in the card, you need the valley fold facing downwards. And all you're going to do is slot this at the top and the bottom into those channels. Now it's a bit fiddly. You're going to slide the centre part into the channels that you've just cut. Now if you find that your channels are not big enough this is where you can adjust it. You just need to make your channels just that little bit longer. But once you've got that in you will see that your card will fold up. And there you have 
concertina card. Now you can decorate that any way you wish. All I've done with my small one is, um, is put chipboard tags on it, chipboard um, pieces on it. Okay, and it still closes up to fit into a standard size card. Now a variation on the theme is to make it with bigger panels. So this is done, the principle is exactly the same. Just take that out. This is cut at three inches. So this has now got three, six, nine, 12 inch paper cut into three inch panels. And this one is what was left from it. It's cut at seven inches. This is the five inch panel. And this is measured at three inches. And all this will do now is slot into the channels that we made. Just the same as you did with the other card. So there you have a bigger concertina card. And of course you can decorate that any way you wish. So to decorate the larger um, concertina card, what I've done is I've um, I've cut smaller panels for each side and I'm just going to mat and layer these up. I've matted and layered up the, um, the flowers and the sentiments so I'm just going to add these to either side as well. I've matted and layered up a panel that goes across the top and I've made the slits in the paper according to the slits in the card and I've removed the centre panel for now um, and matted and layered that up again with the two centre panels. So once this is all dry it can now all just be slotted back into place. And then once everything's fastened in, into place, you then have the card that is finished. And there you have your concertina card. So to add a little more interest to the card, I have, um, with a quickie glue pen and some glitter, I've glittered up all the flowers. And in the green flowers, I've put a pink um, pearl. And in the pink flowers I've put a green pearl and I've just added some lime green bows to each of the uh, the panels and I've also put some pink pearls along the bottom and along the top there. So there we have concertina card. The smaller version was decorated with um, chipboard. I do hope you'll give this card a try. It's a bit fiddly getting the panel in, but it's well worth it in the end. And of course it fits into an ordinary envelope. Or you could even make a box. Enjoy.